Okay, it's working. Uh, so I'm gonna do an hour uh, rock class. So it's like kind of like a mix between some high intensity interval stuff and um, some vinyasa stuff. It's just moving. Just move your body for an hour. I'm listening to music, so I highly recommend. I highly recommend you listen to music while you do it. It's just fun uh, to dance around and move around. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. So we'll start on our bellies. So you can lay all the way down, right on your front. Put your hands under your forehead. Wiggle your hips left and right a little bit. Just kind of get loose. Put your big toes to touch each other. Your heels flop away from each other. Let your neck relax. Let your jaw relax. Take some big breaths into your back. Make a little sound when you breathe for sure just to get that vibration moving through your body to help teach you how to relax, just to let it go. Hmm. Just keep alternating a few more times between those two things. 
See what it feels like to kick your heel up and see what it feels like to pull your toes back. Just keep trying to work through what's the most efficient way to do this. Like, how can I do this with less effort? That's what I'm saying. See what it feels like to do it, because I want you to try to do it with less effort. Try to work efficiently. All right, that's enough of that. Now bring your hands out wider than your shoulders. Point your elbows towards the ceiling. Tense on your fingers if you can, otherwise you can do flat palms. And just slowly go up and down, rolling through your spine, staking through your spine. Little, little movement at first, and you can eventually start to make it a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. Try to keep your feet pushing down into the floor, the shoelace part of your foot, the top of your foot. And like I said, you can keep making your big movement bigger and bigger, going higher and higher, further and further away from the floor. <sighs> and then do a couple where you're making some circles. So instead of just going up and down, go over to the left, up towards the ceiling, over to the right, down towards the floor. And again, keep pushing your feet down. Use your legs, use your arms, and find some mobility in your spine, your head, your neck, let that loosen up. <sighs> All right, that's enough of that. Come up onto your elbows now. Put your elbows under your shoulders. Spread your collarbones out. Spread the tops of your feet out. And just make some circles with your head and neck. Loosen it up. Hmm. Keep breathing. Close your eyes if you can. Roll your eyes around in their sockets just so they're getting a stretch too. All those muscles in your eyes are connected to the muscles in your skull and your neck. So try to get that all loosened up at the same time. Keep changing the direction you're moving. Keep trusting your instincts about how quick or how slow you want to go, where you want to go with it. <sighs> All right, that's good. Use your hands and knees now. Come up into a tabletop, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And then just round and arch your spine. So cat cow tilts. You can connect it with your breath in either direction. You can inhale when you arch or inhale when you round. Exhale when you arch or exhale when you round. But find a rhythm that works for you. Do a couple more of them. Try to keep with that pace. Really use your belly, really use your arms and legs. Press down into your hands, press down into your feet. Really kind of work up, get a fire going. All right, cool. So now come down to your elbows and tuck your toes under. Now make circles with your head and with your tail. And again, you go any pace. You breathe any way that you want, but keep breathing. Make some sound when you breathe. Get a full circle, so think of a clock face and don't miss any of the numbers on the clock face. Use your belly to help you do it. Use your arms, use your feet to help you do it. Really push down into the elbows, push down into the entire ball of your feet. Change the direction of the circles if you haven't yet. Keep it loose, keep it with your breath. <sighs> All right, cool. So now come back up onto your hands and flip one of your hands backwards. With one of your hands flipped backwards, stretch that same leg back and just rock forward and back. 
on the ball of your foot, just to stretch out your wrist. Push into the entire palm of your hand. Push into all of your fingers, all your fingertips. Take a deep breath and switch. Put that knee down, flip that hand, flip the other hand. Press into the entire palm of your hand. Notice if you're kind of like sinking into your pinky finger. That's what I'm doing, that's why I can tell. Press into your thumb, press into your pointer finger. Woo! Ah, take deep breaths. Keep letting it stretch out. All right, here we go. So now flip that hand backwards. Now to go back to that first hand, but take opposite arm and opposite leg, stretch them away from each other, and then bring them underneath. So stretch them out, pull them under. Inhale, open, exhale, close. And use all that stuff that's on the floor to help you, right? Like use your foot, use the entire chin, use your hand, use all your fingers. A couple more, stay with it. Switch sides, give it all you got. Keep that diagonal that's on the floor, right between that hand and that knee that's on the floor. Make it a really good, strong diagonal. Stay with it a couple more. Keep breathing. Use some sound when you breathe. All right, cool. Now we're gonna go back to the other side one more time. This time we'll go out to the side. So kind of like a dog and fire hydrant sort of thing. Try to flex your foot. Try to keep your elbow and your knee bent at 90. Push the floor away with everything that's touching it. Oh, that just really helped. Tucking my toes under really helped. Couple more. Other side, let's do it. Last time, come on. I'm totally talking myself into this, just like I'm talking to you. Obviously there's nobody else here, but I'm just like, come on, Mar, you can do this. Keep pushing the floor away, keep breathing. Couple more. Oh, okay, good. Let's stretch out our shoulder a little bit. Open your knees really wide. You can keep your toes tucked or not. Lift one of your arms up, rotate your wrist, move your fingers around, and then slide that hand through. Keep your butt lifting up. Your shoulder and cheek are on the floor. Your shoulder and the side of your head are on the floor. And then you can take that opposite hand behind your back. Or you can keep it on the floor. <sighs> Any movement you want, a little rocking side to side. You can look down towards the floor if that feels good on your shoulder. Just keep your belly in, keep your butt up. If it feels better to put your butt down, then it's fine too. It just doesn't feel good on my knees. <sighs> Let's switch sides. So lift that one up again, take a deep breath, and then go the other arm. Rotate your wrist, move your fingers around. I got a pretty sick hip hop playlist happening right now in my ears, it's so good. <sighs> Remember, big breaths. Trust your instincts. We're just trying to get more and more aware of our bodies, right? We're trying to like, Learn how to use our bodies efficiently. Challenge our bodies to move. <sighs> so keep breathing. Try to stay out of your head, really in your body. <sighs> All 
All right, cool. We're ready for down dog. So get your hips up and back, upside down V shape. Pedal around, pedal your knees, bend one knee and then the other, loosen it up. Oh man, do I have a bug bite? Yes. Woo. Flutter your lips a few times. Hmm. All right, so now let's go back and forth from a plank, upper push up, back to a dog. Keep a little bend in your knees, and we're just trying to measure it out. So when you go forward, shoulders over wrists. So use your breath. I like to inhale forward and exhale back. Keep your belly in for sure. Stick your butt up like you're trying to uncurl your tail. Little bend in your knees is real nice. Let your tail drop. Let your butt lift higher away from that little bend in the knees just to get that stretch in your calves and your hamstrings. We'll just do a few more. Stay with it. Use some sound with your breath. All right, now lift one of your legs up. Doesn't matter to me which one you start with. Bring your knee to your elbow. So if it's the right knee, it's right knee, forward to right elbow. Gonna try to do eight of them. I lost count. I'm gonna do one more. All right, lift it up. Open your hip up. Look underneath your armpit. So if it's the right leg, it's the right armpit you're looking under. And then bend your knee and make some circles with your thigh bones. So loosen up your hips. You can rotate your ankle. Keep a little bend in your elbows so you're buoyant in your down dog. Keep a little bend in your knee. Almost there. All right, so now take this foot and bring it all the way forward and put your back knee down on the floor. Put your front knee in your front armpit. Let your head drop. And then sit your hips back and flex your front toes. Let your head look forward. Let your head drop. Let your hips go forward. Let your head look forward like you're backward bending. Stick your butt out straight in the front leg. We're gonna go back and forth with that a couple times. So it's kind of like cat cow tilts with your spine, rounding and arching your spine, and then going from a lunge to a half split. You go any pace you want, just keep it fluid. Couple more, stay with it. Find your full range of motion. And always feel free to pause or trust your instincts about where you want to move next or how you want to move. All right, let's switch legs. So push your hands down, lift that leg back up to a down dog. Pick up the other leg. Let's go at least eight times, elbow to knee. And then rock back and forth. 
Uh, drop your head down when you push your hips forward. Look forward when you push your hips back. So forward round, backward bend. Forward round, backward bend. At your own pace, whatever your range of motion is, whatever your rhythm is, or you can switch it too. You can like look up when you go forward and look down when you go back. You don't have to necessarily flex this front foot, right? You can keep your foot down if that feels better. Just keep trusting your instincts, keep moving. Stay in your body and out of your mind. Just a couple more. All right, cool, down dog. Pedal your knees and your down dog. Flutter your lips, stick out your tongue, stretch out your face. Really lift your butt up. Pull your belly in, pedal your knees, pedal your elbows. And then walk your hands back to your feet. Try to do it slow. So you're in a forward fold at the back of your mat. Your feet can be as wide as you want, really, but we're going to hang in a forward fold. Make sure your knees are at least a little bit bent. And try to spread your knees out so your knees go into your armpits or towards your armpits. <sighs> Keep pedaling your knees. Keep loosening up your head and neck. Put your hair up if it's driving you crazy. <sighs> Grab for opposite elbows if you want to, or you can interlace your fingers at the nape of your neck. Okay, put your elbows or your forearms on top of your thighs and flatten out your back. So keep your knees a little bit bent, stick your butt out, flatten out your back, so bring your chest forward. And now we're gonna make some circles with our knees and our thigh bones. So I'm gonna use my hands on my knees, but you can keep your elbows on your thighs if you want. But just try to circle your knees using your feet, and then you circle your thigh bones or your hips by using your hands on your knees. Try to keep your back flat, so pull your belly in, bring your chest forward. Switch the direction of the circles that you're making. Keep it smooth. Remember, any pace you want, Keep your belly in, your pelvic floor in, all your bathroom muscles, just a couple more. All right, slowly stand up. And then make some circles with your shoulders. Keep a little bounce in your knees so you keep dropping down into your feet. And now put your hands on your shoulders and make circles with your elbows. Just make the circles backwards so you're opening your chest. And now give yourself a really big hug. Try to grab for your shoulder blades. And now make circles with your head, your neck, and your shoulders. Keep a little bend in your knees. You can go bigger if you want to, like go all the way down if that feels good. I think it feels good just to stay in the upper part. Change the direction of the circles that you're making. Remember, get your head, neck, and shoulders involved. Just keep it smooth. Don't throw yourself around, you know. Be really nice and mindful. Take a big breath, open your arms, and now switch which arm is on top and do the same thing. Roll your eyes around in your skull. So with your eyes closed, just let that stretch. Uh. Remember, your own pace, your own rhythm. Change the direction. 
direction of the circles.
Take big breaths. You can pulse as fast as you want. You can pulse as big as you want to. If you want to go like a little bit lower, that's cool. Keep your belly in. Keep your head lifting up. It's like you're like, it's like you're hanging away from your feet. You can always like move your hips a little left to right. Stay focused on your breath and your body. I know it's starting to feel like some effort, you know, but we're almost done. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Ah. All right. Other leg. Other leg forward. Both knees bent. <laughs> Remember, way in the front heel. Ball of the back foot. Keep that little bend in your knees. Let your tail drop, let your belly lift. Woo! Maybe a little side to side. Maybe those back strokes with your arms. Maybe you keep your arms up. Stay with it. Focus on your breath. Get out of your mind. Challenge yourself, you know? Like, it's not easy to create change. There's got to be some destruction in order for there to be change. So you want your muscles to grow? You know, you want to look like ripped or whatever? You got to do some shit. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Oh. All right, we'll do one more little squat. Put your knees and feet together. Bend your knees, stick your butt out, and just rock your hips left to right. You can pretend like you're dancing. You know, you can pretend like you're in the club. Somebody's right behind you, you're like, oh, hey, oh, hey. <laughs> you can lift your arms up, you can dance a little bit. You can keep your hands on your thighs. Just keep your belly in. Keep all those muscles in your pelvic floor, pull those up. Feet stay together, knees stay together. Couple more, you got this. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one, shake it out. Oh yeah. All right, so let's do a little shake out before we keep going. So take your left hand and just shake it out. Give it a good shake out. And while you're shaking out, let some exhales out your nose. Other hand. Really shake it out. Loosen up that hand, that whole arm. Keep letting your breaths out your nose. Pump it out. All right, now we're going to do it with our foot. Grab a hold of something if you need to. Otherwise, just keep your arms out to help you balance. And try to give that exhale out your nose. Get rid of anything you don't need. Other leg. <sighs> nice. All right, cool. So, take a nice big wide squat. Let your hips pulse up and down. Keep your knees over your ankles. And then we're going to add the upper body to it. Go on side to side. You could reach side to side. You could tap your elbow down side to side, but keep this little pulse going. And if that feels like enough for you, great. Put your hands on your hips and just go here. Try to keep knees and ankles in the same line. Feel free to go a little left to right. I got Missy Elliott playing right now, so I'm like, okay. <laughs>
stay with it, right? You can keep changing up, you know, kind of how intense you're making it, how quickly you're going with it, but try to stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, shake it out a little bit. All right, so we're gonna do some kicks and some punches. So just a little bit more stuff on our feet before we start making our way back down to the mat. So whatever leg is back behind you, that's gonna take you into a squat. You're gonna punch with that front hand or you can punch with both hands if you want. And then this back leg is gonna come around and kick. So you'll balance on your front leg, come around with the back leg. And you can kick straight forward, you can kick to the side. It's kind of like what works for you, but just give it like a punch and a kick, and a punch and a kick. And you can kind of like, you know, however, however uh, filled with rage you want it to be, that's cool. Just focus. Just a couple more. Three, two, one. All right, other side. So now this other back leg coming forward to kick. Punch it with the other arm. Maybe you do a couple of punches, maybe a couple of kicks. Maybe you just stay with the kick if that feels right to you. And if you fall, you fall. Like, don't take yourself too seriously, you know? We're just moving the body. We're just getting the sweat going. Just trying to build awareness to what it feels like to move and breathe and challenge ourselves. Let's do a couple more. Three, two, one. Nice. Good job. Okay, so just a little bit of jumping jacks, and then we'll get back down to the ground. Here we go. So your jumping jacks might not be jumping. You might step. That's cool, right? You might just bring like your knee up to your elbow. You might cross. You might keep doing squats if you don't like jumping at all. You might keep it a step. Just keep moving. Again, don't take yourself too seriously. Just try to lighten up. Be light on your feet, don't make a ton of noise. Yeah, so let's go down. Whew. 
Let's go down into, actually let's do a forward fold before we come down onto your hands and knees. So take a big wide stance on your mat. Let your head drop. Ooh. Turn your toes in towards each other. Turn your heels away from each other. Keep your left hand on the floor. Bend your left knee a little bit and lift your right arm up. Try to have a flat back. So really try to like keep your butt going back and your head going forward. I'll turn to the side so you can see. So that your spine is extending as you're twisting. And then just keep switching left to right. And if it feels good to you, you can add a little stroke to it. So like you're doing a free, free soft stroke with your arms, they kind of go back, up, forward and down. And you take your own pace, you know, you could do this quick or you could do this slow. Drop your head in between if that feels good and then pull it forward. And you connect your breath with it however you want. Just a couple more. One more on each side, keep breathing. All right, let's do a big squat. So keep your legs out wide. You can squat with your elbows on your thighs and just keep letting your butt drop down. Or if you can keep your heels down on the floor, you can let your butt come all the way down, but lift your chest up as much as you can. Feel free to wiggle it out a little bit if that feels good. <sighs> Loosen your neck a little bit. You can rock it side to side. Maybe make some circles with your eyes. Roll your eyes around in their sockets. Stretch out your eyes. <sighs> Two more breaths. Try opening your arms. Open to one side with the breath. Open the other side with the breath. Nice. All right, so come on down to your hands and your legs. We're just gonna do a little bit of mountain climbers. You can do it quick or you can do it slow. Keep your belly in and cross opposite knee to opposite elbow. Ten more seconds. All right, so stand in your plank and just one leg at a time. Pick it up, kind of like we were doing on our belly at the beginning. If this feels really challenging, you could do this from your knees, right? And pick up one leg at a time, but it's also just really challenging. So it's okay if it's challenging, you know? Try your best to stay with it. Ten more seconds. All right, we're gonna do some push-ups. Feel free to keep your knees down like me, or you can pick your knees up, but if your knees are gonna be down, it's not a table, right? Your knees are not right under your hips. They're at an angle, so your thighs can be at that angle. Try to keep your elbows in by your ribs. See if you can do 10. Nice, come down to your elbows. Hold up forearm plank, so on your elbows, your elbows stay right underneath your shoulders. Collarbones forward, heel bones back. You can do a little pulse. You can rock your hips side to side. You can rock yourself forward and back.
Take two deep breaths. And then see if you can bring your top elbow to your top knee in and out. Ten, nine, eight. Stay with it, keep breathing. Three, two, switch sides. Go slow, do it with control. Remember, you can always put a knee down. Just because you didn't do it on the other side doesn't mean you can't do it on this side. Stay focused. Ten. Three. Stay with your breath, stay in your body, stay focused. It's okay for stuff to burn a little bit. It's 
So if you've been doing pulses, do a couple of full range of motion up and down. And if you've been doing full range of motion up and down like I was, do a couple of pulses. Push into your entire hand, your entire foot. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, elbows point back. Stay with it and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God. Butt down, put your arms forward, grab all of your feet. Try to put your knees towards your armpits or in your armpits. Hang over your legs, let your head drop, couple deep breaths. I like to rock myself on my heels forward and back a little bit just to loosen up. <sighs> couple more big breaths. And slowly roll up, slowly roll back down. So once you're on your mat, do a little bit of bicycle crunches. So interlace your fingers behind your head. Bring opposite elbow to opposite knee. And if you want to make the bicycle crunches a little bit more challenging, or at least I think it's more challenging, you try to straighten your arm so you're barely holding on to your head. And then if you want to go even further, you straighten both arms and both legs. So it's kind of like you're making a K, a K shape, like the letter K, with your arm and your leg. You just gotta keep your chin away from your chest. Keep reaching your opposite arm and opposite leg away from each other. And then that arm and leg that are going towards each other, really try to get the elbow to touch the knee. Just a little longer. All right, now we're gonna do some clam crunches. So hold on to the back of your head, open your elbows, open your knees, and then close your elbows and close your knees. So feet are together, hands are together, elbows and knees open. When you pull your body apart, everything closes when you pull your body together. Go at your own pace, just use your breath. Try to close your eyes. Relax your face. The hour is almost over, so try to stay with it. Stay focused. Focus on your breathing. Get out of your mind. Stay in your body. Couple more. Three, two, one. Put your legs straight up. Let your head drop down and put your hands under your butt. Last thing, just go up and down with the legs. Keep it really smooth. Flex your legs on the way down. Point your toes on the way up. Keep your legs very straight. If you can't go all the way down, that's okay. You can just go halfway or a quarter of the way. And having your hands underneath your butt like this makes it a little, like you, you get a little leverage. So if you want to make it harder, put your hands up over your head. Woo! Just keep breathing. Almost there.
move your hands around like they're an octopus and you're trying to grab a fish or whatever octopus is. Do octopus see fish? I mean, I would assume they do. I think they have like a mouth and they just, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Okay. Put your feet on the floor. Put your arms out like a cactus or you can put them like a cactus with your elbows in by your ribs. We're just going to go up and down with the glutes a little bit, up and down with the hips. Just full range of motion all the way up and down. Keep your movement smooth. The weight is, is balanced between your shoulders and your feet as you go up and down. Keep your belly in, keep all the muscles on your pelvic floor pulled in, like all those bathroom muscles, the muscles that you use to go to the bathroom. All right, now keep your hips up and just go up and down with the heels, nice and smooth. All right, so we're gonna add it all together. So heels down, butt down. Lift your butt up, lift your heels up. And then tap your knees together, open them up, and then butt down. Heels down, butt up. Heels up, knees together, knees apart. Heels down, butt down, butt up. Heels up, knees together, knees apart. Heels down, butt down, butt up. Heels up, knees together, knees apart, heels down, butt down, couple more, come on, butt up, heels up, knees together, knees apart, heels down, butt down, two more, butt up, heels up, knees together, knees apart, heels down, butt down, last one, butt up, heels up, knees together, knees apart, Heels down, butt down, holy shit. Walk your feet wide, and then windshield wiper your shins left to right. Put your arms out like a cactus if they're not. Shake your head side to side. Just loosen it up. And then the next time, both of your knees point to the right, let them point to the right. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging. With your knees to the right, you put your right ankle on top of your left thigh and pull it down just to get into that hip flexor. Close your eyes, roll your eyes around in their sockets. Drop your jaw, stick your tongue out, stretch your face. Other side, so let both your knees point to the left. If you want to make it a little bit more intense, left ankle goes on top of right thigh. Ooh, too much, too much for me. Big breaths. Hmm. All right, happy baby. So get your knees up in towards your armpits. Grab a hold of your feet. Open your legs nice and wide. Maybe you're give your feet a little massage. Stick out your tongue. Stretch out your face. Maybe straighten one leg and then the other. Maybe rock side to side. Hmm, maybe make your face really change your knee and stretch it like that. And then one last thing we'll just do a supine twist. So right knee into the chest, give it a squeeze, a big breath, and then cross it over to the side. So right leg goes to the left. Stack your hips one on top of the other. And then scoot your shoulders away from each other so both your shoulders can be on the ground. And then look to the right hand as your leg goes to the left. Big breath, use a little sound. Hmm. All right, switch sides. Remember, stack your hips, let your shoulders rest. Look to the left as the leg goes to the right. And bring your knee back into center, another squeeze. And you can rest and end your practice.
practice however you want. I like to drop my knees in towards each other and put my arms out. And just take a big breath. <sighs> Ah. And before you get up and go, let yourself rest in a fetal position for a sec. And then we kind of gather yourself before you get up and go. Thank you so much. Good work. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you have a fantastic day. Love you.